One Piece. Hey, I'm Double Heart Angel. Welcome to my channel. That's right, guys. In this week's video, I am showing you in a tutorial how I make this old school One Piece poster into the Netflix live action one. This series was super great and I'm super hyped for season two, but I have seen the original manga and I thought I want to make the original manga poster into a live action poster. So with no further ado, let's get right into the tutorial video. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna walk you through how I will make this manga poster of One Piece, making it a live action version and looking like the Netflix series one. So we're gonna use references from the Netflix show and this is strictly a fan based poster. So anyway, there is a poster already existing and it looks like this and it's not quite the same, right? Right, we, d we don't have the party. The angle is not quite the same. So basically what I want to do is make this part of poster, but I am still gonna use this first reference and I made off camera this version of it. And so the first thing we're gonna do is separate this picture because we need this galleon figure from Going Mary separate to the background of it. I'm gonna use the pen tool to select this galleon figure first. Then I'm gonna make the selection. I'm gonna use 0.1 pixels. By holding Ctrl and pressing J, I copy this selection and mask it out from this layer underneath. Using the select color range, I will pick this color over here and check it over here. By selecting this plus eyedropper, we get more of this same color and holding shift and after that by pressing ok we get it selected we're gonna mask it out and invert the mask then i'm gonna bring back the mask on the areas i don't want it want it to be masked out so uh, a quick tip to check what you have as a selection still masked out you can add a solid color behind and shows pretty good what is masked and what is not so for example here we see we need to bring back some some of this still. So let's do that. Using a black brush I am cleaning up the mask. To make sure the middle is filled, I'm gonna use this lasso tool and just lasso out middle part of this mask. Holding Ctrl key and pressing backspace, we are filling this area. Now we have this going Mary, a galleon figure in the front, right? And we have the background also and with Luffy's Jolly Roger. Okay, so next up we have these characters, right? We have Luffy, we have Zoro, Usopp, Sanji and Nami. So next up I'm gonna add all the characters behind this going Mary galleon figure. So we make sure to lock this layer and then go underneath it. I make sure to always use enough high resolution pictures as references because even though the final artwork will be in high resolution but in a lower resolution it will look better if you use a high resolution picture. So next up we have Luffy and this pose is a little tricky so I'm gonna use three different reference pictures and bash them together to make and with help of these pictures we are gonna make Luffy. So I'm gonna copy the, the layer where he is sitting and paste it inside the document in just behind 
like this. So in this stage it's only a composition, so I know how the composition will be. This is not how the characters will be looking like in the end. I will transform the, the size of them, but also make them look more like this. So let's keep Luffy as is, because he will be the main point of reference. We know that Luffy is in front of everybody, he is pointing towards the camera. And because going Mary's galleon figure in the Netflix series is so much bigger than the one in the manga, we will change this perspective a little. It will be like from the one we are making is a little from underneath. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna transform this galleon figure so we get it more to look like the one from the manga poster. Now I'm, I'm gonna check with the underneath, with the layer underneath how much room we need to fill up. So this we need to fill up. So I'm gonna move Luffy lower down like so and then make him a little bigger and now I'm gonna make this a smart object and disregard all the other characters for now. We start with Luffy. Next up I'm gonna bash this Luffy so it looks more like the manga. So what we are going for is the one in the reference so this Luffy over here. Now when I have a base uh, composition of Luffy, it looks weird still, but it will be better. Next up we have Zoro, so... So we have uh, the composition of uh, Zoro and Luffy. Next up, um, next up I'm gonna make Sanji, Usopp and Nami so that they also fit this old manga poster. So let's start off with Nami and uh, so I, I want to use some of the details from the manga so she's leaning on this rail right so let's try make her lean on the rail. So that's like this arm, I'm gonna take her down to that level and then we're gonna copy this layer and put it above Going Mary and I'm gonna bring back part of her arm that is on the outside of the railing. So then we have Sanji and he's good as is and then we have Uso and transform and horizontally flip him around and add him behind. And now when I have the base composition done, I'm gonna use Luffy as the reference in high the size of the rest of the characters. So we have to determine the foreground, background characters in the picture and go after one of them. Next up we have the actual title so let's add that and I have this reference picture of the title and we are just use this select subject over here and uh, cloud detailed we have a little cleaning up to do so let's do that and after this we're making it a smart object convert to smart object copy this and then we're just gonna free transform it and by holding the alt key and dragging the mouse we are getting it smaller Still, we have a little to do with this composition and that's, uh, for example, we have this pirate flag over here. Now you can see it's the Luffy pirate flag. So we want the pirate flag in the background, right? And uh, we have the background layer as a smart object. I'm gonna go into that and then I have from Envato Elements this pirate flag on a stee. And I simply use this one because I get realistic version of a flag on a pole from this one. So, okay, so now we have the whole thing. So next up I'm going to uh, add above these guys, all of these guys, a gradient layer. And it's 
I'm gonna match the background light being orange on this side and blue on this side. And in the blending options, we're gonna drag away under underlaying layers from the black side back the black and same with the white also bring a little white back basically the light source on the left side of this composition and it's orange and then we have this other light source also on the right side and it's bluish but it's a lot lighter however we're gonna use both of them by adding a, a hue and saturation layer ticking up the colorize I am gonna add for first the orange layer so let's do that so pretty much put the saturation up to around 80 and lightness high up and make it orange changing the blending options also here so we get back the black underlying layer and then and same with the whites and then we can also make it soft lighted and then we hide the mask totally and bring it back just on the edges where the light comes from same thing with the blue so i bring back the mask the light will be visible where it hit then we also have uh, different kind of light sources on the reference pictures so let's make those also the help of level adjustment layer I'm gonna start with Luffy and make him more light because as we can see the shadows aren't that defined so I'm gonna go through all these characters now with different adjustment layers and adjust them accordingly to the actual scene So when I'm done with the hue and saturation layers or with these adjustment layers for the characters I went to this galleon figure and added field blur because Luffy's finger is in front of everything and it's blurred out right and the Going Mary's galleon figure is about the same place as Luffy's finger if not even closer to the lens or camera. So what I'm gonna do is hide that smart filter mask right now and bring it back only here at the front so that it matches with the finger because it's pretty easy to make something look blurry in Photoshop it's not that easy to make something that is blurry uh, more defined and sharp without making it look unnatural now next up is this uh, actual figure in the front with the help of a curve layer I'm gonna make this one darker because it's closer to the camera and that makes the exposure also less visible because the light source is mostly on the backside. Now when we have this uh, overall composition pretty much, well, not quite done yet, but I am gonna go, go through all the characters separately and blend them better. put these together and then camera raw filter so let's start off with the exposure so I'm gonna bring up a little the exposure and, and bring up a little contrast now in this particular artwork I am gonna use in the camera raw filter geometry and I am gonna distort it vertically so that we get this feel that it already has so it's a little tilted. Camera is supposedly underneath and let's just scale it back so it fits the whole picture. Add some detail, color mixture I am gonna now after camera raw, here is the before and here is the after. We have the one piece title and then I'm gonna add also the icons underneath Netflix and so on. This one piece title is not really showing right now. So I'm gonna by using first a curve adjustment layer to get it to show more. Also by adding a shadow underneath Finally, to bring it forth, we are adding a solid black layer that I am gonna soft light and then 
I'm just gonna hide that layer and bring it back underneath the text. Now I'm pretty much done, but I'm still gonna add little detail to it. So like, for example, now we can add shadow some places where we couldn't before. So let's do that by using a brightness layer, adjustment layer and uh, masking it off and then paint in shadow it's supposed to be. And I want for the Luffy's finger to be visible, for example. And here we go. Now this is what we went from and this is what we made. And uh, so let's sum up. We had this reference and first thing we did whilst checking out all the reference characters and of course the actual uh, picture background. So we have a background with the sail going back and I added the flag to it and we separated the going merry galleon figure from the rest of the picture so that we can make more de depth in the picture. After this we started making the characters by bashing them together with the right kind of high resolution pictures. So Luffy for example is sitting on this galleon figure and pointing towards and that's what I was going for. So instead of having his feet on side of the galleon figure I have him sitting normally in and pointing towards. So using a reference picture where he is pointing from the series I made a version where he has same clothing so this red vest kind of thing and then after that we went to Zoro and Zoro has a pose where he is leaning on the railing so I went for this pose and I made his hair a little greener than in the actual series. Picture he has a bandana actually on him so that's something we could add. For now let's keep it as it is. I decided to not go and change the face features that he had on the reference picture because it just looked silly. After this we have Nami and Nami also leans on the railing so I used this reference picture where she well she is not leaning on the railing she's leaning over the railing because it looks more natural and uh, Sanji is standing behind normally and well I just used the reference from the series this picture and made it so that he is on the right side of the composition standing behind and then lastly we have Usopp who is standing behind and he is saluting but I couldn't find any salute positions so I just added him smiling in the background and then we have the tag title and that's how I decided to go about making a new poster for the Netflix series One Piece and if you haven't seen it this is not sponsored by Netflix but I really liked that series and I'm waiting for season 2 and you should definitely go watch it. Anyway that's all for the tutorial. So guys, that was this week's tutorial and this video was more of an entertainment purpose than learning purpose. But in next week's video we will go through how to make landscapes medieval with the help of photo manipulation. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me also on DeviantArt as double archangel or on Instagram as double underscore artangel. And I'm double artangel and I catch you in the next one.